we begin our study with the study of the ancient Greek civilization. Uh, but before we can do that, we have to address this first question. It's a where in the world question. Where in the world is Greece? Well, some of you may say, well, I know it's in Europe. Okay. Where in the world is Europe? So let's start at the very beginning. Let's start at the very beginning and see if we cannot locate Greece on the globe. Let's start where we are in Indiana. And here you see Indiana. But Indiana is located in the United States. <clears throat> so let's figure out what we're going to do here. Here's the United States on the globe. But this certainly isn't Europe. Europe is to the east of us. So we're going to rotate the Earth a little bit. And we're going to bring Europe into view. And I need to straighten it up here. So there we go. Now we've got the globe set. So here's the North Pole up here and the South Pole down here. And we see Europe. Europe. And we see the northern part of Africa. And we see the Middle East. We said Greece is in Europe. But where in Europe? Well, Greece is actually in the eastern part of, the Europe, of Europe, down on the Mediterranean. And this blue water separating Europe from North Africa is the Mediterranean. So let's move in a little closer. Now we're getting the Mediterranean world. Whoa. There we go. This is Italy. Ah, oh, over here, over here is Greece. The Western Mediterranean up to Italy, the Eastern Mediterranean over to Turkey. So Greece is in the Eastern Mediterranean. Let's center ourselves on Greece. And let's move in a little more. And here we see Greece. We see mainland Greece, that's part of Europe, a direct part of Europe, and it's what's called a peninsula. It's a piece of land that stretches out into a body of water. That is this part right here. Right here. But we also see that Greece is made up of lots and lots of islands out in what is called the Aegean Sea. And so we want to realize that Greece is both mainland Greece and all of these islands out in the part of the Mediterranean that we call the Aegean Sea. Now to make ourselves more comfortable again, knowing where it is, let's move back out. So now we see the Mediterranean Sea and we see Greece right over here along with its islands and we see Europe up here, North Africa here. Let's move out a little more. And you can see that now as we begin to look at it, Greece is very tiny. Yes, it's very, very tiny. It's the first place that civilization develops 
in Europe. 